Research out just today on COVID-19's effect on hearing. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares what's been discovered. Hey there, everybody. A new kind of therapy appears to reverse hearing loss in preliminary research at MIT. But until we can harness this breakthrough, there are a couple things to know about COVID-19, the shot to protect against it, and our ears. Two recent studies investigated the risk of what's called sudden sensory neural hearing loss, or SSNHL. This video is provided by Ohio's Cincinnati Hearing Center. They did this to find out what happened after COVID-19 vaccination. The first study in a large Israeli population found vaccination was associated with a slightly higher risk of this sudden hearing loss. The second found no increased risk after vaccination in the United States. Based on case reports, however, sudden hearing loss is sometimes a symptom after the virus itself, but it is rare. What does seem to be a little more common is developing hearing loss, tinnitus or ringing in the ears, or dizziness days to weeks later after infection. Add to that no lip reading for months in masks, and audiologists such as Dr. Cody Curry tell us they are seeing a big jump in people in need of devices such as these to assist with hearing. Um, so we actually saw quite a big influx of that. People, patients coming in saying, you know, I am definitely struggling now that I can't read people's lips. One popular assist device right now, this high-tech device called a Roger. You set it on a table when you have hearing devices and you can't hear the people around you. It's just an additional microphone that really will help in those noisy environments. As for that new therapy to reverse hearing loss in the works, MIT researchers with Frequency Therapeutics are using a descendant of stem cells in the inner ear to create the tiny hair cells that pick up sound when it enters the ear and takes it up to the brain. They are very susceptible, however, to damage due to virus, due to medications, aging, noise exposure, any number of factors. Um, so when those little hair cells get damaged is when people start to notice their hearing loss. This newer therapy looks at how to regenerate those hair cells. But until we have this therapy, if you notice a hearing change, see an audiologist. They can help you not only hear better, but you can reduce the risk for long term problems such as dementia and memory loss. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.